Oh, yes, y'all. Check it out. The experts have returned. They're back, y'all. It's been way too long. Uh, also making a return this season, folks. I know you haven't you haven't been ready for him in a while, but he's back. Chris from Atlanta. No, I'm sorry. That's actually it's actually Johnny, y'all. Johnny is actually uh, is making his return this episode. And spoiler alert. One of these couples might not make it. One? At least one of these couples. But we'll talk about all that and much more on a brand new episode of The, the Jasmine, Jasmine Show. Show. What's happening, y'all? How you there? How's everybody doing out there, y'all? <laughs> there was a lot of energy in that in the beginning of that. But it's Vince. And it's Jasmine. Uh, and of course, we're here talking about... I'm, I'm just excited. It was, it was a good episode. Episode it, what? It was a good episode. We are on episode lucky number... 13 of season 13. 13 is actually a lucky number. Uh, for you, for you, uh, and other people out there in the world. Uh, the name of the episode, Tears, Jeers, and 25 Cent Martinis. is That's the name of the episode. I want to know where the, where the martini is at. Hey, with Decision Day looming, the spouses meet with the experts to discuss unanswered questions about their marriages. And that is the best description that we could have possibly gotten because... It's going down. Ain't no questions get answered. I'm so... Well, some questions got answered here and there. I'm very happy that the experts Some people back. didn't know how to ask questions. Some people did not know how to ask questions. But you know what? Today, I'm ready to get to the tea. All right, let's I'm go. I'm ready to get to the right, tea. What are we talking about? I'm ready to get to the, to the Vietnamese tea ceremony. I'm ready to talk about the, the number one... The number one public enemy himself, Mr. Trash Man. <laughs> The trash man is back as well, folks. The trash man is the back. The trash man is He's sucking it back. out. He's back. I've been trying to find all my all my the return of my gifts as well. Uh so let's let's talk about uh Bao and Johnny for a quick second now. Let's let's discuss them. Because it's been it's been thirteen weeks. What? Which not thirteen episodes. <laughs> so how many I forgot to see how many how many days left till this day. But decision day is looming. It's coming up. It is coming up. It's coming up very soon. Right? And uh, Johnny is still feeling not any different than he feels in his... What do you uh, mean? All he do is feel different. That's what I'm, every, every two minutes, mm, he feel different. Johnny, Johnny. He's not enjoying himself in this marriage. Uh, all I have for him this episode is that he is trash man. Uh, no, no. There was there were some other things. Uh, again, the experts returned this, this episode... Uh, Jazz brought up a great point, which I don't know if there's anything else you want to talk about them, but he brought up a great point. Uh, Pastor Cow went to see Bao and Dr. Pepper went to see Johnny. Should let us know how you feel in the comments. Do you think that Pastor Cow should have went and talked to Johnny and gave him that real, you know what I'm saying, instead of sending him with Dr. Pepper to have the little calm talk? I personally think that Bao needed the, the validation and the pep talk from Pastor Cow, and maybe he felt that there was no, there was nothing else to be done. So Dr. Pepper just has to like, hey, you gotta, you gotta work on these things. How do you, how do you feel it? Cause Bow Bow been given a thousand. I think wow. Johnny felt a certain type of way about how Pastor Cow told him off the last time. Personally, right. I'm certain of that because he seemed, from he seemed what I'm getting, yeah, like a punk. From what I'm getting from him is. He's okay with pointing out whatever he doesn't like, but as soon as you say something about him, he's going to storm out. So, he did not like the fact that Pascal said something Here's to him. Here's Johnny. That's exactly what he does. Trash man, Johnny. All he does is run. He's Trash man. annoying. I'm over him. He needs therapy. He needs a lot. It's a lot. Therapy is definitely necessary. And he acted like he was listening to what Dr. Pepper and all them said. Did he take into any anything actually into account? Because I feel like I genuinely, based on his facial expression, I don't think that I think he was just saving face. I feel I was, I was gonna but say, but I did feel a certain type of way about Pastor Kyle telling Bao to like basically continue to give more of herself. I'm like she's he said keep it light, but basically you're giving him she's more been doing intention. Her thing. She's been and doing I her feel thing. like Bao has been like going to the max. Anything he said he wanted. She's been doing it, and then he says, "You're not doing nothing I asked you to do." So why why am I doing this? It's all Johnny though, and I feel like uh, I feel like there's been a couple times where it seems as if I forget who 
Dr. Pepper addressed in this episode. But it seems as if they're actually watching, the experts are actually watching the tape a lot more this season because it seems like they, they're fully in the know. But Pastor Cal should know that Johnny has been acting up and he's been trash for quite some time. But Pastor Cal, I feel like... Trash man. I'm confused as to why last season Pastor Cal was not playing about Paige staying with Chris. But now it's kind of like, PC, what's going on? I just need to know. Because cause it was... It's upsetting me and, and my homegirls. It was straight up okay. foolishness last season, of course, with the uh, with the return of a certain someone, of course. But I do feel like, and I think someone on Twitter said it too. At least Chris was straight up with his trash man. Yeah, he was trash all Johnny that. Johnny gave us a couple episodes. Johnny gave us of, with that pump fake. You um, know? Oh, it's Johnny from school. You know, yeah. and now it's just and like, now he's trash. Bruh. This is the thing. It's trash. a reason why he was your crush, and y'all never really made it work. God was looking out for you. Okay. I was gonna say he technically said the same thing, just way more trash. Oh, yeah. He said, oh, yeah, I wasn't attracted to you. I'm like, Sh- I appreciated that Bao stood up for herself this episode. I was mm-hmm. like, I deserve respect, and I don't like the way that you talk to me. And he says, yeah, okay, I get it. And then says, yeah, I wasn't attracted to you. That's why we didn't date 15 years ago. I'm like. Trash. He's not. That's why I say he's not taking in or receiving any information that anybody's giving to him. Red flag, red flag, red flag, red flag. Like, he's just. He's he's working on my nerves. But Pastor Kyle talking about some, your marriage will grow through adversity. This is abuse. This is not adversity at this point. It's definitely emotional abuse. You going back and forth constantly. It's not healthy for Bao. And it's like, I know y'all want them to make it through the eight weeks and then make the decision, obviously. Yeah. I think that's what, I, it seems as if that's what Pastor Kyle's main focus is, at least with uh, these couples this season. So it's a good thing to try to get them towards the the end of the race, but at the end of the day, no, it's, it's trash. Not. And speaking of races, Johnny has never run from this relationship <laughs> Apparently. once. Apparently, never. But he lying though. Never. It depends on what your definition of run is. Maybe he counts run as disappear and never come back. I don't know. That's ghosting. I don't That's know. different than running. But all I know is, uh, again, you've earned the title. A couple times throughout the season, Johnny, but I found my gift. You trash man, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We used on, a, to, on a lighter note. Johnny, when I used to love you. Nah, you, y'all you was cool. You was cool, but it just, <laughs> dude, like, yeah. Bao is still goofy and funny and stuff, and there might be some other spoiler alerts that some of you might have seen, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Lighter note. When they had the group uh, volleyball, like sand volleyball. Oh, thing. yeah. Come on. But I was ki- she took me out with those cheers. Doing goofy stuff like W-I-N. that. Come on. in. We all win. I was like, all right, Bow. <laughs> and then Johnny going, ha, ha, my, I'm like, Why my he? little Bow. It's like, bro, we beefing right I now. I thought it was like, funny because you know how he kept saying she was like presenting one thing in front of everybody. And, and I'm like, so you're doing it. She was like, I was trying to figure out why he was hugging me. I'm like, so you're fake. Like. He just gaslighting her the whole time. I'm just over it. I'm really over it. Had to get Johnny and Bow up front. Had to talk about them. Yo, right we might as well rate them while we're here. Uh, how are you feeling about Mr. Mr. Trashman Zero? Mr. Trashman Zero. Oh, you're not gonna rate him up. Ooh, I wonder if we should start rating the couples afterwards. But I don't know. Let's... Okay, I'm gonna give this. Bow is Bow is a nine, and he is a zero. So Ooh. I'm gonna give them a four point five. That that okay? I guess. All right. I'll put that. I'll put that down for them. Jazz because she's giving a hundred percent, a thousand percent. And every time he goes back and forth, when he pulls away, she allows him to breathe. When he leans in and is all in, she's she's right there with him. I'm like, she can't be more of a committed wife. I said it. Bow bow. She giving a thou wow. Yes. You ain't doing nothing, Johnny. You ain't doing nothing. All right. I'm glad we had to get that out. We had to get that out. Of Sorry front. for that rant. Uh, no, let's talk. Let's talk about another uh, a, a boring couple now. Let's get rid of uh, of Brett and Ryan right now. Let's let's discuss Brett and Ryan. Uh, I think same thing. They were having some some time with uh, Pastor Cal. Pastor Cal asked her uh, to ask Ryan when did he give up on this marriage. I thought that was a great question. And uh, he was sitting with 
with Dr. Pepper, she asked him the exact same thing. That was the first thing that she asked him. His answer was something along the lines of uh, whenever we had to talk with Dr. Viviana about the intimacy. intimacy. Yeah, I remember that. And what happened? What, what, what? I felt like he was talking in a circle that day, too. What and Dr. Viviana said the same thing. What went wrong with them? Because I thought that the intimacy thing was, was like, okay. Like, I thought, you know, they had, they was having a moment, you know, uh, thought they had talked out some good things, but is it still that he just don't see, he just don't I see what he wants to, to see? he's used to plastic. Let's be clear. Every time I see Brad, I'm like, she is stunning. Yeah. She's absolutely stunning. She gorgeous. She gorgeous. And I will say, uh, well, I'm not, I'm not into women, but. If I look at a woman, like, a woman that has red hair is not going to stand out to me automatically no. over, like, somebody with darker hair or blonde hair. But she is stunning. The eyes, like, the hair, the like, the way she's put together. Now, she needs to clean it up. I'm going to give him that. Apparently. I could see that being a turn off. And especially, watch where she sit. Especially because he seems like he's, like, old school country mm-hmm. type background so he probably i don't know if this is the case but he probably believes a woman should cook a woman should clean take care of the house take care of the kids they don't have no kids the dog died in her defense the dog died so dog did she die. might be mourning she still, might be going through some stuff but she needs to clean up the I house she was dirty before or that. at least clean up her side but yeah it just really sucks to find out that clearly uh as people are saying ryan probably enjoys that she has red on top of her head, but probably wanted it to be a hat as opposed to <laughs> Vince Big <Trash>. as, <laughs> as opposed to <laughs> a red hat. A red a red oh, hat. Okay. As I opposed got not blonde to, hair, just a red hat. As opposed to maybe some blonde hair too under that red hat. Oh god. But uh yeah, that's what people are saying. That's all that's as far as I want to say. I have nothing else to say about Brett. I thought it was interesting that Brett spoke to his sister. But that was dope. And, and she didn't, correct me if I'm wrong, but, I feel like she insinuated that Ryan was thinking about an ex okay. because uh, everything shifted when they came back from the honeymoon. So Pastor Kyle asked Johnny last week if there was someone else. I think we should have been asking Ryan if there was someone that's else. That's a good point. That's a good point. And I can see that because I feel like it was a complete shut off with him as soon as they got back. And his sister knows him. And yeah. and they live together. That's right. So she would know. That's right. So, uh, yes, yeah, so that's all I have about Brett and Ryan can we please discuss Jose and Rachel? What is there to discuss? Absolutely nothing. I'm glad you said that. There's nothing to discuss about that. Rachel said that it's a deal breaker if he lock her ass out again. Yeah. And what is there to say to that? Uh, I agree. Only thing, only thing that needs to be discussed is a proper etiquette for hugging a woman when you are a married man. <laughs> I have to say, I wish I had the picture for it, but Jose... You did the right thing. You stick that booty all the way out, <laughs> sir. That was not a church when, hug. He <laughs> had that arch in that bag. I was like, sir, mm, it's, it's not giving what it's Why supposed he? to give. Uh-uh. Why are you hugging that? It was Dr. weird. <laughs> I'm not going to say it, but yeah, it was yeah. weird. Yeah. What, uh, I, again, I'm not the one to be saying this because people say talk about me all the time just because I'm a, I'm a happy-go-lucky guy. But... Uh, there is a there is a Kiki Palmer meme. I think she was on the show Hot Ones eating a wing. <laughs> this one got a little sweetness in it. <laughs> I know you had to see that recently. I'm not, so I know you had to see that recently. You're that is hilarious, man. but that's all I'm going to say. All right, moving along. Moving along. Uh, we got to talk about the hurricane. Hurricane coming, y'all. I don't have no other. I got, all, I got rid of all my memes. I'm sorry, y'all. The hurricane, because I want to, I want to, not my may or Your my memes. I want to, I don't know why, I don't got nothing good for Michaela and Zach. Anywho, we're talking about Michaela and Zach right now, folks. Uh, Michaela and Zach have been going through some things. That's, let's, let's say that. Let's say that. Uh, they've been going through some things, and I'm stressing because I can't find a picture of them. There you go. There we go. Uh, I feel like I can. The, ain't no point in showing that picture, because. The one of them arguing, I guess I deleted by accident. But Hurricane K is everywhere. And honestly, the previews got me even more scared than excited. Uh, I'm very concerned. concerned. One, because I don't want to see a black woman portrayed like that on TV. But I use the word portrayed loosely. Because in order to portray something, 
it has to not be actually what you're doing fully, but she looked like she's acting a damn fool. Flipping shit over. <laughs> what did I say she was doing? I forget. Oh, we forgot to mention about Brett's face, but never mind. Uh, or Ryan's face. But you said that she was... Oh, I said she was... <laughs> she was uh, messing up the Airbnb deposit. <laughs> That's what it looked like. <laughs> she was, was flipping shit over, slamming doors. It was doors. really like, a hurricane. I'm like... This is scary. It was and the really preview a where hurricane. Zach was talking to her and she's yeah. like, ah! I'm like, bruh, I Zach's face was exactly how I felt. He was bruh. I am concerned. I don't have nothing to say. I am scared for that man. I don't have nothing Sorry to say. Sorry to that man. I'm I scared have for him. Nothing to say. So uh just to just to move on from Michaela and Zach, I'm glad you I hope you can feel yes, whatever this is. I hope you can feel that through the screen right now because, yeah. So, he got a chance to talk to Dr. Pepper and uh, she said, at some point, she said something along the lines of, she might not be for you. And if you I know- hear that. If you know anything about, she said something along those lines. Correct me if I'm wrong. Feel free to let us know She was talking comments. about meant to be, I thought. Something along those lines that she kind of hinted at. He was at. basically fantasizing or saying like, oh, I, I'm a perfectionist, so I expect the relationship to be perfect. Perfect. Everybody that's in a relationship knows that there's no such thing as a perfect relationship. But he was saying that, hold on, what was we talking about? I lost my train of thought. Michaela and Zach. Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. Oh, he was saying, I want to feel like it's meant to be. And Dr. Pepper said, Basically, that it's not meant to be that a relationship or getting into a relationship is an opportunity to grow and build on it. Right. And I was like, that's like, if more people would get that in their head, it's a team. It's a team. Squad over self, y'all. Yes. Represent. We over me. Anywho, I'm glad that you said all that. Uh, Because the only thing that I could think about this entire episode, one, being afraid of Michaela. Two, why she got her purse on the floor? That was a hey, red flag, red flag, red flag. <laughs> uh, Dr. Pepper, knowing the second she started talking that he was gonna start crying, regardless. If you know anything about Zach, Zach is you gonna know cry. we're gonna get some tears, yeah. And I don't know why, it's nothing wrong with being sensitive, there's nothing wrong with being emotional, but sir, get it together. I think that man is genuinely scared for his life. Like, get let's be real. Oh, no, no, he's no. probably scared for his oh, life. Oh, no, I'm big shook because I. If the hurricane come this way, I don't condone none of that, but I'm, no. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He keep, might be scared he's going to Keep go to that the over there. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Keep that hurricane over there. Turn it, turn it down. I'm just picturing, like, I know she's never been supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> I know she's never supposedly been in a relationship, but I'm just, it's screaming domestic violence for me. And it's scary. And I'm very concerned for him. All right. Let's move on to happier things. Yes. Uh, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. So when Michaela spoke to Dr. Uh, to Pastor Kyle. Yes. What did Pastor Kyle ask her? Ask about happiness and mm-hmm. how can you make him happy? Yes, this is a good thing. And Michaela said, "We get into some good topics. She some good thinks topics. that it's his job to make himself happy." Right. How do you feel about that? Uh, I do feel, to a certain extent, you should be responsible for your own happiness. I do also agree that you want your partner to be a part of that happiness, to contribute to it, to contribute to it. What's the point of being with somebody if they don't add to your happiness? I agree. Yeah. I was like, a lot of these people have like thought processes that make me like, you shouldn't be married. You shouldn't even be in a relationship. You shouldn't even blink at somebody of the other They got sex. work to do. They got work to do. Yeah. So that was all I had for that. All right. Let's talk about it. Let's talk Let's about, about it. Let's talk about Girolab. All right. That was all the couples. Oh, right? we, we forgot got... to rate the people as oh, we were going. We can go back to the yes, ratings. We, we can, can go back. Do. We can go back. Uh, we talked about all the rest of the couples, right? All Let's talk the about rest Martini this, Shorty. All the rest of this. I'm sorry, y'all. This little bit of trash that y'all got, you know, making our way to the the stars of making this show. Making our way downtown. Of course. Walking fast. The number one couple. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. On this show. 
the reason why everyone watches, the rating bringers, the actual love in the Married at First Sight universe right now. Mirla E. Gill. Sorry, I had to give them the proper. Mirla. I had to give them. Come on with the intro. I had to give them their proper, their just due, because they really, they really, 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 really have showed us so, like, so much growth, you know? Don't know if they're kissing. They kissing. Still, they kissing. they kissing here and I there. think they might be having sex and we just it's don't a, who know. Who knows? I'm just happy to see the growth. Yeah. Every single time. Every single time. They show us they're amazing. Uh, they're having a good time. You know, Mirla, she's so excited with her new husband that she she's living her best life. I don't know what to say, but she's she's ecstatic. That's about- Martini Shorty. <laughs> I don't know who Mirla is. That's not Mirla. That's Martini Shorty, okay? Girl. Because she went up in there talking to Dr. Pepper. She was lit. She was lit. She could barely walk the, the right way. And Dr. Pepper had to tell her, if you think you're sober, you're not. I'm like, I don't think I've ever been and showed up somewhere and the person said, if you think you're sober, you're not. I can <laughs> tell that you've been out hanging. With your friends. With partying. the gals. <laughs> now, if you believe that you are sober right now, I have to let you know. You're not. Sadly mistaken. <laughs> she like, I... <laughs> a little bit, I might be... <laughs> I might be a little girl. Yo. <laughs> you lit. You remember that time we went to karaoke in New York? We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about <laughs> That's that. That's how I was right there. <laughs> no, it was your birthday, right? Was it? I don't Maybe. think it was my birthday oh, that time. It was, it was one of those days. It was one of those days. But yes, uh, very happy to see Mirla in a, in a good mood. Uh, very giddy. Apparently, 25 cent margaritas. No, margaritas? No, martinis. 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 Where the hell they got 25 she's cent fancy. martinis? She's fancy for that. Uh, very interesting. But I'm so happy that when I think Married at First Sight tweeted, so what is your favorite moment of the season? And this would probably be my favorite moment <laughs> of the season so far. This is this is too good. This is the Girl, <laughs> she that was, is that is so dope. She is and lit. I wonder if she knew she had a Dr. Pepper interview coming up shortly after. She did. I wonder how Dr. Pepper felt just sit, <laughs> just sitting there like, is she? I'm supposed to. We gonna talk about serious stuff. Okay, cool. So uh, all I have to say about Marilyn Gill is that she was lit and they're enjoying themselves. That's all I have to say. Would she like also to said, told Dr. Pepper that she made the choice to love her husband. Yes, I was like. And I think that's a, that's a beautiful thing, and that's exactly what it looks like. Also, yes. Oh, don't hurt me. Uh, Stop. It's okay. It was a lie for me. It's all right. She's this. See, wouldn't she just love to be this in love? Like, come it on. Touched me. Come on, come on. So yes. So at this point, folks, that's all I have. Is there anything else that you wanted to include? Well, let me double check. Double check. Uh, if not, then we'll get into these ratings, folks. Let's get into these ratings. Uh, I will start with. Mirla E. Gill, because are you double checking for anything else? Is there anything? Yes, go ahead. Anything that we missed? If there is anything that we missed, please drop it in the chat. Gil wasn't messy this know. episode. Very, he was very, you know what I'm saying? Because he looked like he wanted to say something smart at the volleyball thing, he clean, but he was man. just, he was like, it you know, my clean. wife loved me, so it seems I'm like they're trained, like they're having good conversation. Again, it's not necessarily too too much hard stuff, but we've said people have been saying that, uh, oh, they must be discussing all the the heavy topics. They're just older, so they're more mature. To be able to deal with these things, not because it's not they're that older. they're older, babe. Everybody they're, they're is thirty five except more for mature. Zach. That's right. That's right. They're just more. It's not, yeah. They're handling this. Thi- they're handling situations like adults. The thing is, is if you decide that you want to make something work, then you can't approach stuff with just emotions and react. You have to think about it and be like, "Is this conducive to making this work? Mm-hmm. Is this going to help or hurt our communication?" Absolutely. And half of them don't even communicate. That's the other thing. They're not listening. They're Brett not. ain't asked one question. They're Where the questions listening. was at? Yo, Brett, uh, what did we say about Brett earlier that he be so he be so dry? You said the Crypt they, Keeper that's got more. Ryan. Oh, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Sorry. Yeah, still Brett ain't, ain't got the names. Him. Yes, I told you. I still got him confused. Uh, Jazz said Ryan, uh, Ryan don't, uh, no, the Crypt Keeper got more life than Ryan. Yo, the Crypt Keeper was evil, but he was funny. And Ryan's drier too. Hilarious. Yes, he's dry. Hilarious. Toast. 
But yes, uh, back to Mirla Igu. Let's talk about... They get in a nine, because they loving Highest now. score they've received they the get entire in season. Nine. Highest and they've score. been transparent about the communication, about her being negative. You said the right things. You said the right things. So, yes. Absolutely. Great job on them. We've already uh, scored these uh, these suckers over here uh, with a total of 4.5. Bow, you're doing a thou wow again. Yeah. You're doing your thing. Johnny, but unfortunately, on your teammate is yes. bringing down the score. Yes, your teammate here. Uh, it's, it's very it's very unfortunate to see how things turn out with them. Uh, let's discuss Brett and Ryan. Who Ryan is the guy? Yes, Ryan is the guy. Good Ryan job. Is the guy. This they, is, they getting a four. We gave them they a five doing, last they, week. Maybe a three. They're not even talking. We gave them five last week. No, they week. get a three. I legit haven't seen. I'll give them a four for now. We can bring it down if we need to again. But I legit haven't seen them really speaking to each other. They in the don't same. communicate. I don't think I don't think they have. So it's kind of it's kind of scary to see that too. I thought I had some hope for them, but we'll see. Let's talk about this hurricane. Jesus, I need to find other other pictures. Retreat. Of these now. See, because their wedding pictures don't necessarily match anymore. Yes, when you get to retreat. It, when you get to it. Run, 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 Zach, run. Uh, we actually, believe it or not, I guess they were doing well last week. We gave them a seven. This week they moving out. She taking the season. She took the seasonings. We ain't even talk about this. We haven't seen that in a Who few seasons. Who took the seasons? I think it was. You said it was Brett and Olivia from from New Orleans. He took the season. He took the seasonings. <laughs> Babe, if I ever take the seasonings, I'm never coming back. Just well, so I, you know. I assume you know this. I assume. <laughs> I assume. Leave the seasonings. Uh, I'm giving them a five for now. It might be even less. It's pretty bad. It might be even less. Obviously, next episode is going to be even worse because we see the full strength and it's the, in the eye it's the of the storm. It's like the couple's trip thing, too. Oh, my goodness. So many arguments. I'm like, so y'all will cut up by yourselves, but y'all going to cut up on a group trip? It's bad. See, that's why we don't do couple trips. It's bad. They're also getting a four as of right now. Uh, Rachel and Jose is the last couple, and I haven't seen much of them either. We didn't. We didn't really talk about them. In this episode. They still get the same score. Uh, last week, we happened to give Rachel and Jose a five. They, they're they, boring. They can get a five right now. You're boring us a little bit. Uh, they're still arguing a little about the little petty things here and there. It's it's whatever. What's petty? Locking you out? That's not petty. It's a discussion. The way they're going about discussing it. But shout out to uh, Johnny, a.k.a. Chris, a.k.a. Trashman, once again this season. Folks, that completes... This episode of the Jasmine Shout out. I was, yeah. was going to say a few. I was zoned out yeah, for yeah, a second. It, it, it happened, it happened. But please, uh, if you enjoyed this, please make sure you're hitting that like button. Thank you for, if you're watching this entire thing so far, if you're up to this point, please, that little red button down there that says subscribe. Please hit that so you can check out our new videos and be notified when we upload a brand new one talking about either this show or... Or another one. Of course, please make sure that you... Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. I had to just make sure my baby got that in there yeah. as well. As yeah. well. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram at The Jasmine Show. On Twitter, as at always. The Jasmine at Show. The Jasmine live show. tweeting as well. every we, show. Every single show we live tweet. Jasmine does her absolute thing on there. And uh, we... Sh- shout out. Shout Look out at to... you guessing me. Yes, you, do, you be killing you the tweets. Me. Uh Ice T liked our picture on uh on Instagram. Yes! <laughs> on Instagram because Jazz used him in a in a really funny gif. And uh, shout out to uh Courtney Revolution on Instagram as well, just from the circle that followed us recently. So shout out to you. We appreciate you for watching. Uh yeah, I think that's uh that's all I got for today. Uh we will see you getting closer and closer to decision day, folks. We'll see you very soon. Brand new episode of the Jasmine Show. We are out. Peace.